Hello, this is Mr. BNSF Train. On today's video, we'll be looking at the Thomas & Friends Trackmaster Thomas, Annie & Clarabel that was released in 2020. But that wasn't the only thing that I got at Walmart the other day. I got these things. Uh, might be interesting because Tom wanted a little Matchbox trailer. That was pretty cool. But this is something a bit more interesting. It's a Hot Wheels locomotor in. It has a clear body. When this is the second version they've released. The original locomotor in was painted up like Thomas the Tank Engine, and this was where his face would be. There's also a red version out already. And I hope they make a few more versions. Let me just go ahead and rip this out. Just something that I just wanted to show in this video. Here's the locomotor in. Notice it has a hook to hook on to Trackmaster stuff, which is pretty smart on, of Mattel, because they have both Thomas and Friends and Hot Wheels. But... Oh. Just give it a moment. See, it's on the track and my camera doesn't like to focus. It, so it kind of fits in the track, but not too well. I'll get some stills of it. This thing can also hook up to the Hot Wheels trains that I made a separate video of on my channel already. And while I'm here, I might as well open this up. This is not the focus for today's video, just something else that I bought at Walmart the same day. Yeah. Matchbox box is pretty hard to open. Here's a trailer. This is the fourth version of the trailer trawler. The first one was released back in 2018. The tailgate says Red Valley Camp on it. And the plastic boat is removable. Now let's get Thomas out of the box. But before that, let me show you the other ends of the box. This end here, you got pictures of Thomas, James, and Nia. Front, we already saw. Here you see the front of Thomas. It would have been better on this side to show the product. On the back, it's in a whole bunch of languages, but they show regular Percy, Mia, and Emily instead of Kenji and Duchess, which were in this pack. Yeah, my local Walmart had a bunch of Duchesses, but not very many Kenjis and Thomas and Annie Clarabelles. And if you look at the bottom, if I flip it the right way around, some more detailing. Got Thomas on the barcode and this other legal information. I guess they put this to make it more international because in previous versions there was just written for the American and English speaking market, like let's say Rebecca's box. So, no recycle info. Now, I'm gonna get Thomas out of Annie and Clarabelle out of the box. It is a very nice to for Mattel to finally make packs that aren't related to a certain episode, special, or new character tooling. Well, you could argue that the Annie Clarabelle's new tooling, but I'm talking about engine tooling, like... Since Trackmast, since Mattel took over, there was like a... All the packs are related to a DVD or a new tooling, like... 
In Trackmaster 2, there was a Samson, Flynn, and Scruff pack. Because Flynn and Scruff were new toons, and Samson was a new character altogether. The instructions... Pretty simple, but they just put it in a whole bunch of languages. And what I don't like about this is that the plas it's a plastic bubble stuck to cardboard, unlike Rebecca, where you could just easily reuse the box, which I just showed. Now I'm going to try to pry the consist out. Okay then, there we go. So first impressions, the plastic actually feels pretty decent compared to previous Trackmaster 2 models. The Thomas is missing some lining here. And a couple of the coaches. Their mouths are slightly different. And they actually put Clarabelle the right way around. And I don't know if you noticed, but there are seats inside. I'll do a scale comparison with some HO scale figures later on. And now, on to Tom. I have a previous release of a right next to me. Bring him in. Face looks a bit different, better paint. See a different type of printing. Back, pretty much the same. This side, tops, you can see boiler bands are missing. And underneath, it's pretty much the same, except I filed down this one so it could run on the classic track, Master Track. Here's a better look at the difference in their faces. You can also see in this shot that the roof overhangs their faces. And there's even some underframe detail on the coaches. And just noticed on the roof of Clarabelle, there's a smudge there. So, even though Mattel is making better products, their quality is still hit and miss. And let me bring in the Trackmaster, tell me Trackmaster opinion, Clarabelle. Yeah, this Clarabelle, I removed the stickers of because my Tommy Annie broke her front coupler. So, it's glad to finally have a proper set of Annie and Clarabelle. This one's actually a hit toy and this one's a proper Tommy. Well, I'll just put Annie to Annie. Faces. See, this one is actually molded in. This one's just a sticker. No surprise. Although, they're, they're pretty much the same length, but the Hit Toy one is longer, but at least this Annie is longer to standard, compared to standard Trackmaster 2 stock. Four compartments. The Tomy Trackmaster does not have seats. Mattel does. In the back, you can see pretty much the lip of the, the floor. I don't need to bother going over Clarabelle since it's basically the same. Here are some stills that I took of new Annie versus old Annie so I can get a better comparison. Before I forget, here's the locomotor and compared to Clarabelle. Okay, now I'm going to unscrew the two Trackmaster 2 Toms. I'm going to start with the one that came in the pack. new one 
to the one that was on Rebecca. Yeah, the switch on this one's a bit stiffer. I'm going to fit a set of triple A's in each. They're not the same brand, but I don't really mind. Very noisy. This one it's nice and quiet. I'm gonna set these two on a chase test. Old Thomas is in front, new Thomas is behind. Okay, New Thomas is really catching up, so... The camera really likes to go blurry on me sometimes. Looks like they caught up. New ones at the rear. I swapped engines and coaches, and Classic Thomas looks pretty good with the new Annie and Clarabelle. And so does the new Thomas with the Classic Annie and Clarabelle. Let's see how they look like when they are running. Now I'm going to open up Clarabelle with this screw triangle head screwdriver. If I can get it right and shot. I which I got off Amazon from Silver Hill Tools with a pack of couplers. There are two screws holding the, each coach together. Here's the interior. If I can get it right. Three compartments. One, two, two aisle. No, three benches actually. There's no benches on the ends, but there is some sort of texturing of them. And here's how the interior looks with some HO skill people. I only have two, but I plan to get more after finishing this video since I'm not sure how good HO skill figures would look inside these Annie and Clarabelle models. I might even try to add some lights inside. And here's how a coach looks on the frame but without the body. 
So you could make an open coach custom. Especially since it's only $9.88 at Walmart as opposed to $15 at Target. It's a good thing if you want a project like adding figures in or light into the interior or just want a Trackmaster Annie and Clarabelle for cheap. And that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.